So student choice is a, a huge part of the independent learning uh, that we've been trying to implement here at Pleasant View. And it's evolved a lot since the beginning of the year. Um, I think at the beginning of the year, we ran into some problems where we were giving students too much choice. We were giving them too many options and they were just overwhelmed and they didn't know where to begin or what to start with or how to start. Um, and so over time, uh, we've learned to give them more support and more direction early on. And as they practice these skills and grow in them, they we kind of gradually release, release them to be more and more independent. Um, so students have a range of topics and playlists um, that they can choose to work in. So they can be working in English, math, or science. And within those, there's sort of subtopics or focus areas. Um, so that in math, they might choose to be working on multiplying fractions. Um, and there's the goal is to have a range of resources within that playlist for all different types of learners. Um, so I mentioned there might be things like videos or PowerPoints or practice problems. Um, and the idea is that students don't have to look at every resource in a playlist to master it. They can look at what works for them. So some students are best uh, with visual learner learning and they might want to focus on um, kind of charts and graphs and pictures and videos. And other students uh, are really more analytical and they might be working just in practice problems. They want to practice until they get it right. 